Hey guys, I'm Leon and I'm a German guy living and studying in New Zealand for one semester and on this channel I want to share my experiences with you. In today's video I want to talk with you about a few somewhat weird things that Kiwis do or well, not necessarily weird but they just do a few things differently uh, than most other countries do. As always this list is of course based on my own opinion and personal experiences so please uh, don't take it personal, I'm not trying to offend anybody in any way. Um, so yeah, the first weird thing I noticed uh, when I got here was that many people, even in big cities, just on the street, like to walk around barefoot. And I'm not saying that this is like a bad thing or anything. Actually, since I got here, I probably walked around more without shoes than I did in Germany for the last two years. I'm only doing it in the student village though, or when I'm walking on grass or something. But I've seen quite a few people walking around in Auckland without any shoes on. Which I think is quite brave actually, because you never know what you're gonna step in next. Another thing probably only New Zealanders do is this great expression which is yeah na or na yeah. And I've actually started to use this quite frequently myself because it's such a great thing whenever you feel like uh, you want to disagree or agree with something or someone but um, you don't want to say it in a direct way. You can just say yeah na or na yeah and it's fine. It's It sort of softens it up. Like if someone asks you if you want to go out today but you don't really feel like it, you can just say yeah na and it's fine. You really should have something like that in German. It's so convenient. The next weird thing New Zealanders do or rather eat is of course Marmite. If you don't know what Marmite is don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. It's basically a spread that uh, smells disgusting and doesn't taste that great and you don't really know what it's made of. But people love it here and I don't know why. The next thing is probably only weird to Germans because people here are incredibly laid back and frustratingly inefficient when it comes to supermarket cash counters. Like, paying for your groceries in Germany is really a nerve-wracking experience. You have the big queue behind you, the guy behind the counter scans your stuff at an insane speed and you basically have to pay and put your stuff away at the same time and it's as fast as possible. In New Zealand, on the other hand, not so much. They will have small talk with you, they will pack your stuff in a bag or back into your car for you, which still seems preposterous to me. And nobody cares, nobody cares how long you take. In Germany you will get angry stares if you take longer than 30 seconds to pay and leave the counter. The last weird things New Zealanders like to do. They really love to give things different names than what the rest of the world calls them. One of my favorites is probably jandals. Uh, that's what they call flip-flops here. I've completely ditched the word flip-flop, it's all jandals for me now. A few others, however, don't make that much sense to me. Like, they call sweets lollies. So I asked my flatmate, my QV flatmate, what they call lollies here. And it's lollipop, of course, what else? Or another one I just recently learned about. Uh, they call ketchup here tomato sauce. So again, I asked my QV roommate what they call tomato sauce, like for your pasta. And sure enough, it's of course pasta sauce. Obviously. And there are quite a few more of these. You can, you can really say Kiwis like to add their own little spin to English. That's all I have for you for now. Five weird things New Zealanders do. If you like my list or you want to add something, be sure to leave a comment and a like. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye!